I haven't seen any of these things poop yet, which medically is very concerning for me. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Machi Gachi. We've got a, a few stars here, Ophiuchus, Pluribus, and Lunatone. I did name all of them. And uh, they even dress themselves. They start out as little babies, like Lunatone currently is. And then they uh, dress themselves up according to their job. So uh, you can kind of force them to do work by clicking on them. That's pretty nice. Let's see, what about this selfie here? Yeah, he dressed himself according to his profession. Dauntless Elegant Diplomat. He likes playing war games. Favorite cookie? Rum Raisin. Oh, 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 bad choice. Bad choice. Terrible choice. I'm sorry. I shouldn't judge somebody's cookie choice. But yeah, not my favorite. Not my favorite uh, little guy. Not my favorite uh, type of cookie. And let's go back to my first character, Ophiuchus. Yes. O Oph Ophicus? Ophicus? I don't even know how to say it, really. Uh, but it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a pretty cool name despite not being able to pronounce it So look at him there. He's so adorable. This is a really cute game uh, Currently very very early access, but hopefully eventually it's gonna Blossom into something beautiful. I really loved Tamagotchis when I was little um, I had probably like 15 20 of them hanging off a fucking keychain and it was always like dee 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 at least one of them and then you gotta sort through and like look at which one's making the noise or something like that so uh fond memories fond memories obviously and this game takes a lot of uh a lot of cues from tamagotchi obviously the name matchy uh so far i haven't seen much matching um but yeah I'm waiting for the game to blossom just a little bit more before I pass true judgment on it. I'm just uh, enjoying what is offered right now. And uh, it, it's going to be released soon, so there is no price point currently. Uh, but if the price point was relatively low, yeah, I mean, this is a good game. Sit your kids down with it. That, that's, that's just fine. I'd let my uh, six-year-old play this any day of the week. So, profession for uh, Ophiuchus is the Dimensional Master Shipwright. And he's obviously dressed himself up with a little tool belt and some cool goggles and stuff like that. He likes writing the wrong answers in math textbook and his favorite cookie, chocolate chip. Old classic. And he was my first, uh, my first matchy gotchy. So, uh, yeah. Classics are classics. What you gonna do? And look at he is a master builder. He's just getting those rocket ships together. Five hits. Boom. Boom. Go into space. Everybody, get out of here! So, uh, we'll go ahead and check out my my newest matchy gotchy. And obviously, I'm uh, ab uh, about halfway through the game, almost. So, um, I look forward to what could be at the end of the game in Xanadu. Is that what it's called? I think it is Xanadu. Yeah. So, that's the goal. You want to get uh, your, your characters all leveled up. So you can reach Xanadu, because they each have a special job that needs to be uh, completed. So what do we have for this guy? Astrological Forecast Specialist. Likes playing tarot cards without a deck. Favorite cookie? White Chocolate Macadamia Nut. Oh my god, so superior. Good job, Lunatone. You're my new favorite, and he's also named after a Pokemon, so... That's helpful. Um, you've got your happiness meters on the left you got your food meters on the right those are basically the only things you need to worry about um, if the happiness meter goes down you can fill it up by playing games which currently should say game because there's basically uh, only one 50 50 pick left or right and uh, if you win then you win some hearts and if not then uh, you lose some hearts obviously I just lost a bunch of hearts so we'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate that now I guess left he chose right I guess left, he chose right again. He chose right all three times, which is uh, not what I wanted to happen. I win no hearts. All right, just really like going to the going to the right, I guess. So that time it was uh, all correct, and I get two hearts from that. You can also uh, feed snacks, uh, which will give back one heart and one ha hunger. Um, but if you feed too many snacks, then the little guy gets sick. And basically all you gotta do is press the health button to give him a little shot. But it makes you feel a little bad because your dude got sick, you know what I mean? You don't want your dudes to get sick. 
and they will build a little bit faster uh, based on how their meters are doing. So this is an extremely engaging game. I don't sit here and uh, watch what is happening most of the time. Um, a lot of times you just, you know, alt tab, go browse uh, Twitter, Reddit, whatever you do. And then you come back and you're like, oh, need to fill the meters up, do that. And then uh, rinse and repeat until your character gets all dressed up. Then you get to unlock the next one, which is relatively nice in my opinion. Uh, the first character got dressed relatively quickly. These ones obviously taking a lot more time to do so. Uh, I guess to stretch the life of the game a little bit, which I wouldn't mind so much if it were um, a bit more engaging, a bit more interactive. I'm sure new games and such will come along shortly though. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And obviously my, uh, my Machigachi got a little bigger there. So he went from a baby to like um, a teenager, an awkward teenager. I'm gonna go ahead and click on him, try and get him to work a little more. That could work nicely. And then uh, the final option that we have on the, the bottom menu here is clean, which uh, I haven't seen any of these things poop yet, which medically is very concerning for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I assume their workstation gets a little bit dirty or something like that. So you gotta, you gotta help them clean up. Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share, clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. And I can see this is uh, just barely developing itself slowly with each hit of the hammer. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit um, a little bit frustrating to have it go so slow, but at least you do have some sort of marker of when this thing is going to be complete. And then he'll start dressing himself up as like uh, an astrological specialist or whatever he said. Look at that. He didn't grow any bigger. He just uh, stopped doing work. Okay. He, he's he's not doing work anymore. I guess because there's like puddles and stuff on the ground. See, he's made his workshop a mess. So we should probably clean up just a little bit. You gotta smash these cute little bugs. And yeah, this is just like a really likable aesthetic. I really uh, enjoy cute things. So you can see now the workshop has been uh, cleaned up again, and he's feeling like working a little bit more. So good job, Lunatone. I like that go-getter attitude. I'll go ahead and play game. Play game. Is it right? No. Nope. Goes left all three times. No, I got right once. But I didn't get a heart for that, so I guess you have to win at least two out of the three. So the game is, uh, yeah. A little strangely built at the moment, if you'd ask me. Oh, I could win or lose the hearts right now. Fart. Left was my first instinct, but I went right. I could just feed him candy, too. If I lose this one, I'm gonna just gonna feed him candy. Oh no, I got it! It went left all three times. I went left, left, right. But still, I got it. I got it, good enough. Done and done. So, uh, let's go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. And we'll see if we can get Machigachi to, uh, to get some pants on or whatever he's going to do. <laughs> that would be nice, huh? It's nice songs. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> do, 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 do. Fart, 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 fart. Oh, he don't have him that the hammer is moving. He's doing it with his mind. Oh. He's got psychic powers. Oh, okay. That's the moon, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Oh, nom 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 nom. <laughs> it's pretty cute, huh? Yeah. But the star is doing best here. Oh, it's gonna do. Slowly. Yeah. So slowly. A handle here is gonna go here. Oh. And then he'll put some pants on. <laughs> well, she's gonna do her best. I'm gonna feed one more. Oh, you need to clean too. Oh, okay. See, it gets all dirty in the background. Nope, you work more. <laughs> he stopped and, oh, good more. One more. 
Keep going. Hi everybody, I'm Jeremy. Miss Jeremy. Hooray! Our matchy gotchy got a little uh what That's is that? what I said. Like to a, you, Daddy. A dashiki or something yeah, like that. And gloves. Some clothes, that's right. My my daughter's really been enjoying this game as well, so uh, I'll go ahead and let her do some stuff, and uh, we'll fast forward it and see if we can't get um, a hat or whatever to match. And then after that happens, we can hatch a new Machigachi, which is probably the uh, the most exciting part for me. I really do like uh, seeing what's going to be next, because who would have expected this little moon to dress up in the dashiki? Not me. <laughs> Moon Man! It's pretty cool hat. That's a pretty cool hat. So Jeremy got a hat for our matchy gotchy. And maybe we could hatch another one now. It seems like he's working on something else, but uh, that seems to be going a little bit faster than the previous. So let's let's go ahead and check it out. Luckily he didn't get sick from eating too much candy. You know, little kids, they, they're immune to getting sick from eating candy. I'm going to unlock this one, I think. Oh yeah, hatch it up. What's it gonna be? Ooh, what is it? Oh! Super cool! I'm gonna name him, uh, Euphoria. Because he's a UFO? Okay. You get it? He's a space physician, medical doctor. He likes googling symptoms online. Ooh, don't do that. You're gonna, you're gonna think you have cancer, like, every other day. And his favorite cookie is double chocolate. Whoa! Double chocolate. I like chocolate. I like chocolate too. And he's hungry. You want to feed him? Yeah. All right. I give him burgers. Oh no no no. So the art and the sound effects and the music are all really catchy. I do hope to see some um uh upgrades as far as the randomization of um the different likes and the cookies, favorite cookies and stuff like that. But overall, it's a really, really cute game. Um, this this UFO also started out with his lab all dirty, so he doesn't want to oh, work. It's dirty because it's super dirty. Green. So we got to clean. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Now click the bugs. Go ahead, click the bugs. Oh, good job. All right, get him. All right, get him. One more, smash him. Go get him. All right, nice and clean. Now back to work. Back to work. You think I'm playing games? <laughs> so overall, Machigachi, a uh, relatively satisfying title. My six-year-old likes it. I'm relatively fond of it as well, thanks to the uh, cute art style. And, uh, of course, my affinity for pet games and stuff like that. I've been looking for a really good pet game, so... Um, ooh, his happiness is gone. So we need to play games. We've been working them too hard. So let's play a game. Choose left or right. What do you like? Hi. Right? Oh. Eh. Try again. Oh. Eh. Try again. Okay, you got one. <laughs> or you can feed him snacks. That'll work too. <laughs> Path of least resistance, I guess. A belly full of snacks. Look, he's so happy, he gets back to work. So obviously you can let the, uh, the Magigachis do work of their own accord. Or you can uh, be like, you know, Dayton and Jeremy, crack the whip on them. We're pretty good slave drivers over here. Anyways, really, really uh, quite a good game. I'm looking forward to seeing how it develops and uh, how big it can get. I hope that they'll add some more matchy gotchies and stuff like that. And uh, some more games. I would really like some more games, uh, above all, if I had only one wish. But yeah. Looking forward to it. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it for sure. Thanks so much to uh, Silverware Games. I think that's what it is. Silverware Games, Mr. Spork, um, SayOMGWTF on Twitter, at SayOMGWTF on Twitter, if you want to wanna give one of the devs a follow. And uh, I'm also on Twitter, if you want to follow me, at Dayton Does. And then we've also got uh, Discord links in the description if you want to chat me up. Patreon links if you'd like to support this channel monetarily, monthly. Um, that would be much, much appreciated. 
Anyways, friends, this has been Matchy Gachi. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. It is always helpful. Helps the channel to get out there. Spread the word of Dayton Does, and also of Matchy Gachi, because, uh, God knows it's not easy to be an indie dev these days. We've got so many games coming out. Tip of the hat to Civil War Games. Thank you so much for letting me take a look at this title. Once again, friends, this has been Machigachi. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, bye bye. Bye bye, too. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.